Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome to the 15th part in this series where we are building a personal dashboard app using Angular. In this video, we're going to be building the add to do view. So let's get started. Cool. All right. So now we can actually go on to creating the to do, uh, the add to do view. So let's go to the terminal here and then let's do um, ng generate component or ngGC for short. And uh, then the name of the component will be add dash to do. Okay. All right. So now we have a um, a new folder here called add to do, and inside that we have the add to do template and all of the other files for the component. All right, so inside here, um, let's actually just go to the routing module first. Let's go to the routing module and let's set up a route for add to do. So let's go here and uh, let's call this to do slash add. Uh, let's get rid of that. And then this will be the add to do component. Okay, so that's the new root object that we have to create. Okay, let's save that now. Let's close this and let's go back to the application. And um, here we actually have the um, the router link already set up for slash add. So let's click on this and it takes us to to do slash add. And if we look here, we see add to do works. Okay, cool. All right, so let's now go back to our code here and we can now start to work on this. And now the add to do view will be very similar to the um, add note view. So um, let's go to the add note view. Let's go to the template and um, let's actually grab all of this code. Okay. Let's just grab all of it. Let's copy it. Let's close this and go back here, get rid of that and paste it in. Okay. Um, all right. So let's change a few things here. So first of all, let's change this to uh, add to do, and let's change this class here. Let's change it to add to do wrapper, like that. Let's save that, and um, and uh, we don't need this this text area here because it's just the text we need. So we will just need one input. All right. So let's go here. All right. Okay. So um, yeah. All right. So I think we can basically keep everything the same for now. Let's just save this and go back to the application. Okay, and we see this. Cool. Um, so let's actually change the text of this here to create to do like that. And uh, let's actually change a few things here. This shouldn't be called title, it should be called text because, um, and that's because uh, the field that this input is for is it's for the, the, um, the text property in the to do object, right? Um, text, right? So this should be called text and we can call this text field now, text field. And we can update that there, that there, and that there. And uh, here we can say, please enter, um, please enter some text for this to do. And uh, we can say here that um, the to do text must be at least three characters. Okay, cool. All right. So, um, that looks pretty good. Let's just change the placeholder here to enter to do text like that. Let's save that now and uh, let's go back to the application. Okay, cool. So that's pretty good now. Um, let's now go and add some padding and things like that to this. So let's go here and let's go and style the add to do wrapper. Okay, so let's go to the style sheet here and let's go and create the styles for the add to do wrapper. Okay, and uh, let's set the border radius to five pixels. Let's save that and go back to application. Okay, now it's got um, five pixels of border radius. Let's now set the padding to 35 pixels. Let's save that and go back to the application. Okay, and now let's see if we can get a scroll bar on overflow. Okay, so it's not actually got a scroll bar on overflow. It's actually just, um, at the moment it's overflow visible and that's not too good because it's actually overflowing into the other sections of the page and then we get the scroll bar on the whole window here so that's not what we want so let's go here and let's set the max height to 100 percent and let's set overflow to auto all right save that go back to the application 
and there we go. So now we have a scroll bar here. All right. Cool. All right. So now let's go back to the application. Cool. All right. So let's actually go and um, go back to the code here. Let's close this. And uh, I think we can now work on the component class and actually uh, implementing the add to do functionality. So let's go to the component class here. And uh, first of all, I think we can inject the um, to do service to do service. Okay. And let's go and create the on form submit method on form submit. And it takes in the form object. So form is of type ng form like that. And for now, let's just do console.log form. Save that. Let's go back to the application. Uh, let's inspect the element, go console. All right, let's type in a uh, test and click create to do. And we see the ng form object. That's pretty cool. Um, cool. All right, so let's close this and let's actually implement the functionality. So um, let's actually quickly log the form.value, right? Let's just save that and go back to the application. Let's inspect console and let's go test and click create to do. And then here we see that we get an object that says text test. Great. So now that is enough to create a to do object. And then we can then uh, use use the to do service to add that to do. So here we can do this dot to do service dot add to do. And it requires a to do object. So so we can do um, const to do is equal to um, new to do. And it takes in the text. So here we can do form.value.text. Okay. And then here we can pass in that to do here. Save that. Go back to the application. And let's see if this works. So let's go here. Type in a new to do. Click create to do. And we can go and uh, click cancel to go back to the to do's view. And here we see new to do. Awesome. All right. So now what we can do is we can go back here and we can use the router to navigate the URL to um, navigate the user to the to do's view. So private router is of type router and that has to be imported up here. All right, and then here we can do this dot router dot navigate by URL. And then here we can do slash to do's. Okay, save that. And let's go back to the application and let's close the console. Let's click add and let's do test, click create to do. And now we see test. Awesome. Let's go and click add and let's try and actually create a to do which has uh, an empty text box, right? So no to do text. Let's click create to do and it actually adds it. So that isn't too good. The reason for that is because we aren't actually preventing um, creating a to do if the form is invalid, right? So here we can do console.log form.invalid save that and go back to the application, inspect, go console, click add and click create to do. And it says that it's true, right? So it is invalid. And what we can do here is we can just do if form.invalid then return. Okay. If we now save that, go back to the application and try and create an empty to do, then nothing happens. Great. So that is working. Um, the next thing we should do is we should show the error message, right? So we've already set up the error messages here as these were in uh, the add notes view and we copied it over from there. So um, uh, the error messages are already here. However, we actually have to create the show validation errors Boolean. So let's go to the add to do component class. Let's go up here and create show validation errors. And that's a Boolean. Okay, let's save that now. And uh, let's go here and let's just return this dot show validation errors is equal to true. All right. So if we save this and go back to the application and click create to do, then now we actually get this error message here. Great. Let's try and um, type something in here. Okay. And we get this error message here that, that it has to be three characters or more. That's good. Let's now click create to do. And there we go. Cool. All right, so that seems to be working pretty well. Cool, all right, so um, the next thing we could do 
is we can work on the edit to do view. Uh, but before we do that, we should first create some sort of button um, that would link to the edit to do root, right? Because um, in the case of the notes, these cards themselves were the links, but in the case of the um, to do items, when we click on the to do, then it will just um, toggle the completed state, right? So we can't actually link to the edit to do view um, on the to do items, right? So what we could do is we could create a separate button that would appear on hover that would link to the edit to do view. And um, we can see this in the design here. Um, on hover, we see uh, these two uh, action buttons that appear, right? So here uh, we have the edit button and the delete button, right? So um, these will appear on hover of the to do item. All right then, um, let's actually go and create that now.